Have a look at these little beauties, ladies and gentlemen. It's the new MRF tyres waiting to be released into their natural environment and we're going to get them out there and give them a real good hard going over at this weekend's MRF Queensland Rally Championship Round 1 to be held on Saturday 2nd of April at Manambar. Our wrangler for the MRF tyres is Sean Gill and we're going to invite Sean to just uh, step in and just give us a little bit of uh, background about the MRF tyres and what we can expect from these really high class uh, tyres. So Sean, thanks for uh, getting involved with the whole MRF thing. So just wanted to firstly say congratulations on being involved in it Thank and uh, the sponsorship from MRF and Mentor Tyres has been sensational. It's, it's a, a really good thing for our championship and so uh, it's raised our profile. It's given us a product that's going to be sensational to use. So again, we just, on behalf of everyone that's competing, thank you for that, Sean. Now, tell me a little bit about the tyres. So they've just arrived in the country today. What specification tyres are they? Well, we've got medium and soft compounds which have come into the country uh, for the first event, mainly going to be on the four-wheel drive turbo, it's going to be using the soft compounds. Mm -hmm. uh, as per the test that Eli Evans did, blind test on four different brands of tyres, uh, which will remain nameless at the moment. We just want to see how yep. the results go this weekend and see how the competitors go. But the tyres themselves, look, you know, you've got Gorav Gill, Lappy, people like that, they've won six to seven uh, you know, championships in the age. Work. It's not just a fact of, you know, Good luck. Yeah. So, so these are the same specification tyres that Gill and Lappy have been running, is that right? Yep, in the mediums, that's what Gorav runs. Uh, for the particular is, you know those scooters, they've got plenty of horsepower. Um, he gets a lot of heat in the tyres through aggressive driving. So the tyres work for him, that's for sure. We did some minor testing at Hurst Glen last year with Jeff Kilbride, Jesse Hyman. Uh, we were pretty Ivan impressed with the results. The MRF actually ended up coming up the fastest time of the day with Ivan driving okay. against another product. Um, but very, very happy with, with the product and, you know, great wear. So the softs themselves, we've got a few drivers on them, so it'll be interesting to see. Fantastic. I mean, we're looking forward to get in and try them ourselves and try them on the different varieties of cars. As you said, the original supply, original stock is uh, primarily for the four-wheel drive turbos. Some of the smaller sizes we haven't been able to cater for yet, is that correct? Well, no, we've got them in the country now. They turned up Saturday morning, oh, 7 o'clock. Uh, unfortunately, the customs strike delayed that a little bit with their border protection right. uh, strike. But yeah, 7 o'clock Monday morning we unloaded the container, so we've got uh, 13s, 14s, uh, two sizes and 15s. Uh, so good news on the fronts, we will have some extra sizes coming into the seasons. Not quite sure yet when MRF get on board because they're making moulds at this point in time, so interesting to see. Yeah. Fantastic, that's going to be great. One of the great things about this year's championship is we've got the MRF Challenge, which will be uh, a race within the race uh, in each of the rounds of this uh, Queensland Championship. So with that challenge, it's uh, basically the fastest drivers on various stages who are actually using the MRF tyres. So um, that's going to be a lot of fun in itself. Um, but also, I think, um, seeing how we compare against some of the uh, other brands that are going to be out there. So really looking forward to that. It's a value for money kind of tyre. Would that be the best way of looking at it? Well, it's going to be interesting to see because, you know, there's been MRF in the country before that have been left behind by some of the Asia Pacific teams and we've had some good reports and some negative comments about the tyres but at the end of the day, the compounds aren't marked. So the competitors using them aren't really sure what they've been using. Now that the competitors are buying compounds and knowing what they're using, I think that the tyre itself will come of age. People will see the quality of the tyre. It is a Kevlar carcass, so it's not something to be frowned upon. It's, it's a tyre. It's a high specification yeah, tyre, yeah. It's a high tyre. And I think with MRF's dedication to Ed Bivet, uh, his dedication to Australian in the rallying sector at this point in time, we're going to have some good results. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be a great thing to, to have that out there and be seen. Uh, obviously, you know, there's a lot of people who've got their prejudices and that sort of thing, people who've been using a brand for a long time. It's going to be interesting to see the guys who are running the MRFs, how they stand up against them. I do know that there's going to be a couple of the, the top front running guys running them. Is there a couple of standout names you can sort of put forward on that? Well, look, at this point in time, um, I'm going to be running them. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a standout name, <laughs> mind you, but I'm going to give them a crack. Mm -hmm. um, we've got Rob Bishop, who's going to run them. Mm -hmm. From there, yeah, everything's a bit quiet at the moment. But mind you, we only released on Facebook that the tyres are here. So it'll be interesting on Friday in Manambar to see with the North Queensland competitors that are all coming down, who's going to run what. 
Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we're going to have the truck there, the fitting services on site. So, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see. I know there's a few guys that are a bit iffy and, you know, they've got their valued Pirellis or Kumos or whatever they've been using. So, uh, yes, it will be interesting to see how Rob goes. It'll be interesting to see if I can uh, actually get some miles. Go and knock him off. We'll have rally for three years, but it'll be interesting to see how the tyres go. We've got Kim Ackworth on them. Um, so, yeah, Keith Facknell's using the set on the BDA Escort. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Kilbride, Jesse Heitman. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure there's some guys from up north, not pretty sure, I am sure that there's guys from up north who will be fitting them, the Cassidy's, uh, etc. So it, it'll be good to see how the results hold up, how the tyre wear goes, uh, punctures, that sort of thing, and times. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think many people realise that it is as high spec a tyre it is. So as you say, it's a Kevlar construction, so its resistance to punctures has got to be good. And obviously it's been proven in performance with the guys in the Skodas and that sort of thing. So I think... Everyone's going to be fairly excited by the results, I reckon. So we are really looking forward to it. So watch the, watch the times from this weekend, folks. We'll be giving you updates as the weekend progresses with uh, results from various people and a bit of feedback from the drivers themselves as far as how they feel the tyres have performed and how they compete against the other uh, brands. I think there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be pleasantly surprised. We look forward to seeing you out there.